Now in previous videos on this channel, I have demonstrated many times that as the sun is setting in the southern hemisphere, it is moving to the left. And that is the opposite of what we see in the northern hemisphere. And significantly, the angle at which it is descending and moving left is in direct proportion to your latitude south of the equator. The further south you go, the more the angle will be away from the vertical. But in this video, we're going to look at what happens to the sun after it sets. Does it continue moving left? Now this is a time lapse where we can see the twilight clearly moving to the left. And it was taken with a GoPro camera. And when the twilight was no longer visible, I switched to night mode to allow additional twilight to be seen. And there you can see that is now in night mode. And what you're seeing there is the moon descending towards the horizon. And when you play the time lapse, it is very clear that the twilight is continuing to move left the whole time. Now, this was taken from Broome, which is a latitude of 17 degrees south. So you can see that matches the angle at which the moon is descending. So the sun sets, the twilight continues to move left. When we switch to night mode, we can see a bit more twilight and it continues moving left. Now this time lapse was actually made at the request of a flat earther who contacted me by email. And I won't mention any names, but some of you find him quite interesting. Now I did tell him at the time that it might take a while because I live on the east coast of Australia and the best way to do this type of time lapse is on the west coast. And I actually purchased a new GoPro Session 5 camera specifically for that reason. But it did take several months until I had the opportunity to get this footage. And he explained to me that the reason he wanted this footage was to check if the sun starts moving back to the right after it sets. As you will see, it does not. It continues moving to the left. Now, I posted this video on my channel as an unlisted video back in December 2018. And I posted a comment on the Flat Earthers channel with a link to the video. I don't know if he has seen it yet because I don't believe he has ever made any comments in relation to it. I saw the other day another Flat Earther claiming that he was the only person who has made this observation. And hence, I thought I would make a video to prove that I have also done this observation. So here is the original video uploaded to my channel on December 6th, 2018, six months ago. As mentioned, I had also posted a link to this video on the Flat Earthers channel. Now, the original title contained the Flat Earthers name, but to respect his privacy, I have changed that to Time Lapse 4 an interesting flat earther. I'm not sure if he has seen this video. He probably won't respond because he told me in no uncertain terms by email that he never wants to hear from me again. And that is why I won't mention his name. So this also confirms that I did keep my promise to make this time-lapse video for him, despite a number of claims by other flat earthers that I did not follow through. And then of course we have the Flat Earther's worst nightmare, the Equatorial Mount, which is an absolute Flat Earth killer because it can only work on a globe. Now, I don't know why Flat Earthers still struggle with a simple geometry of how these devices work, but apparently they do. So what I did here was place a red laser on top of an Equatorial Mount and then project that light onto a wall and this equatorial mount is polar aligned for Sydney, Australia. And that means it is set for an angle of 34 degrees south latitude. So what we will see when the laser light illuminates on the wall and we move the equatorial mount is a path that replicates what the real sun would be doing from Sydney, Australia. So there's the equatorial mount rotating on one axis. As we know, it can track stars in the sky and the sun 
all day and all night by simply rotating that single axis. So what I've done now is put a red laser on top of the telescope so that as the telescope moves it will project a point on the wall and as you can see that light is moving left as it descends and continues to move left once it goes below the horizon. And by setting the alignment of the telescope to your specific latitude, it's going to show you an accurate representation of how the sun moves as it approaches the horizon. Moving left constantly as it drops below the horizon. And as we all know, debunking Flat Earth is fun for the whole family. So here we have a laser attached to the telescope on the equatorial mount. And if we watch the spot of that laser as it moves across that wall and through the horizon, 